Hey there, Pops. I sold a bundle today, like always. That's my boy. <laughs> You've grown since we settled here. The town has, too. We're only gonna keep on growing, Pops. You bet. This town's gonna be something. Just gotta keep on digging up more silver and making a killing. And, of course, use the profits to do right by everyone in town. You betcha, Pops. We'll do it together. Particio! We've got trouble. That gang's stirring up mischief at the mine again. They're back, huh? Go on ahead, I'll catch up. Protecting our mind's vital, but keep the violence to a minimum, you hear me? That's a deal I can't make, Pops. I'm gonna go arouse the town, gather a posse, whoever's willing to come. Hey, but just don't do anything risky, you hear? Dang, boy, he's already gone. Warmed up. Take this. to divvy up the earnings.
ourselves a showdown. Yeehaw! Maybe next time.
a showdown. I'm just getting warmed up. Like you're all ready and raring to go. You look just as raring as any of us, boss. You bet I am. That lousy gang's really got my hackles up. The more we have, the more they try and take away. Those ruffians got the nose for coin, if nothing else. They're here to take what we worked hard to make. So no holding back. Yeah, they're good for nothing thieves. Let's get them good, boss. Hmm, new face, ain't you? I'm counting on you to watch our backs. Take this. Think of it as a down payment. Ooh, the boss is doling it out again. You'd really give coin to a stranger you just met, Particio? Of course I would. Folk gotta help each other out if they want to make it in this world. <laughs> Strange to think the Wild Stallion's got a soft side. Bartering or bruising, no one can beat Particio the Wild Stallion. Too quick by half to let go of his leaves, though. Quiet back there. Stop the muttering. Trouble brewing in the ranks, bucko. I knew you'd show up, Gif. Huh. Kind of you to worry about my posse. <laughs> and over your coin. You're making a tidy profit, aren't you? We do honest work in our town, and we get honest pay for it. That's why it gets my goat that you scoundrels think you can waltz in here and steal what we shed sweat and blood for. Why not try some honest work for a change? It feels good. Yeah! Give up being rascals and work like the rest of us! <laughs> Laborers, all the same. Come on, boys, take them down. This world's about taking, and we're going to be the takers. Yeah! That rat. He needs someone to cool him down. Listen up, fellas. We can't let this bunch of scoundrels beat us. Double pay for anyone who distinguishes themselves. Let's get to work. That's our boss. Generous as always. Come on! Let's get him! Hey, the customer. Bring it on. Take this! Bring it on! 
Felt that, didn't you? Yeehaw! Oh, Time to divvy up the earnings. Ha! Not so tough after all. Damn! Don't think you'll get away with this. <laughs> right, right. None of that cliché hogwash now. Retreat! We're getting out of here! Ha! <laughs> and stay gone, you lily-livered lowlives! We did it, boss! Yeah! What a victory! Y'all did good, fellas! So what do y'all say we go and have ourselves a celebration? I say, let's make it a big one! You hear that, everyone? Food and drinks on Particio! Woo! -hoo! That's our boss! Generous as always! Hold your horses! I didn't say nothing about buying anyone! Come on, boss! Hurry it up! Hey, hey! I said it! I think my ears are deceiving me. Say that again, Rock. <sighs> I'm leaving town. For good. That joke ain't funny, partner. We built this place together. This silver mine is what it is today because of us. Both of us. Right when we're about to grow it even bigger, you hightail it out of here? Why? Capitalism is a stormy sea, my friend. Its waves rise and fall, and its tides ebb and flow. Fortune has favored us, and a high tide has graced our town. However... The tides are always changing, Pap. What about our people? The ones who followed us here? I'll leave you with one word of warning. You do recall the contract we signed when we bought this land eight years ago? It has one crucial flaw. What's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Hey! Partner! Wait! The tide's ebbing away from this town, Pap. Goodbye. I think I ate more than I could stomach. <sighs> this town's gonna get even bigger. All of us are working hard to make it so. Oh, uh, Mr. Rock. Heading home early today, huh? Particio, may I have a word with you? Particio, I'm leaving this town. Huh? I won't mince words. This silver mine's days are numbered. 
Silver is being mined worldwide now, and it is the commodity's destiny to slowly devalue. I'm washing my hands of the precious metals trade and traveling to the eastern continent. Wait a minute. Hold on, Mr. Rock. The East is rich and prosperous, a land abundant with promising wares. Have you heard of something called a steam engine? It is a revolutionary device that uses energy derived from steam to provide unprecedented power. We are entering the age of steam, Partition. I am certain of it. <sighs> Look at yourself, Edgar. You'll see eyes sparkling with excitement. You have the spirit of a true capitalist. A golden opportunity like this has your blood pumping. Thanks for the compliment. Patricio, I want you to come with me. I want your talent, your drive, your charisma. You possess a rare talent. I've traveled the world over and met few your equal. What do you say? Leave this town behind and join me on an exciting new venture. Together we can amass a fortune that would be the envy of the world. Oh, wow, Mr. Rock. You're always thinking ten moves ahead. I admire you more than any other merchant. I can't go with you. Right now, all I want is to stay and work hard with the folks here in town. I'm real sorry, Mr. Rock. Particio, that sparkle in your eye tells me what's really in your heart. Your gaze is on the horizon, your spirit dancing at the thought of the potential business opportunities out there for you. <sighs> I see your mind is made up. A shame. Truly a shame. It saddens me to think of your talents withering along with this town. Goodbye, Patricio. Mr. Rock. Here you go, Pops. My special beef and veggie stir-fry surprise. Oh, boy. <laughs> Smells delicious. Hang on, Particio. There's no beef in here. So you wouldn't really call it beef and veggie stir-fry surprise, now would you? 
I can when we're broke. We can't afford beef. So, fill up on the name, if nothing else. Please? <sighs> Times are tough, huh? We dig and dig, pull up all the silver we can sell, and it only gets us enough coin for table scraps. That contract I signed, biggest mistake I ever made. The original owner of this plot of land retains the right to buy it back at any time they so please. I can't believe I didn't notice that fine print when I signed the darn thing. That rotten landowner let us do all the hard work building this place up. And then snatched the whole thing back once the silver started taking off. Since then, all the profits from the silver we mine get sucked up by that leech of a landowner. I ended up pushing myself so hard trying to turn a profit. I drove myself into the sick bed. Eat my share, Pops. Merchant's health is the seed capital, and you need all you can get. Fine words. When'd you get so eloquent, Chickadee? We're out of medicine, too. Uh, uh, hold on, Pops. I I'll go buy you some more pharmaceuticals. No, I'm sorry, son. It's me that's keeping you tied to this mess of a place. Howdy there, fellas. Getting on well? Boss, got any work for us? None of us have had a job for days. We can't even afford a decent meal. This town's done for. We've lost everything. 
gotta find a way to make this last measly crust of bread keep me going. Hey, boss. You got a job for me? Any job? Sorry, I, I want to hire you, but I don't got the leaves. It's hard to make a living with that silver mine now. Landowners' laws are squeezing us dry. Damn. What are we supposed to... Harry, that's my crust. Give it back. Shut up. I'm taking it. I've got mouths to feed, too. That's enough. Here, I'll split my bread. It ain't much, but it'll tide you over. Boss. Damn. Sorry, Harry. Sorry, Nikki. It's my fault you're suffering. If only I could make things better. If only I could look out for you. Never imagined it'd end up like this. I never knew what a devil poverty was. How much pain it could bring. Don't worry about it. We'll figure out something to do for work. Boss, it's not your fault. Damn, you're pathetic. Look at you cry. Now stop with the waterworks and pony up the leaves, bucko. Gif, as if today couldn't get any worse. Smart of you to toady up to that leech of a landowner. The most important thing in life is figuring out whose side to take, bucko. You haven't forgotten that contract from 16 years back now, have you? A merchant like you should understand the power of a flimsy piece of paper. What do you want, Gif? I got a message from our benevolent landowner. Tax on silver's going up. Lucky you. A lot of competition in the silver trade lately. Ore prices are going down, down, down. Hurts the boss's kindly old heart to do this. But times are tough. You think we'll stand for that? You ain't getting another leaf out of us. Yeah! We're all struggling just to eat! Hmm, getting rebellious, eh? In this world, there are those who squeeze and those who get squeezed. You idiots are the latter. You're nothing but lemons to me. Your job is to get squeezed into lemon. You. Though, uh, none of you can afford to buy lemons anymore, can you? <laughs> Listen up, bucko. Next time I come to collect, I'm taking a bigger cut. Damn it!
Hey, Pops. Uh, I'm back. <coughs> Something happened? I've never seen you look so dispirited. Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Particio, I won't pretend to know what's got you down, but here's a word of advice. Why not just go for it? Do whatever it is you want to do most. <sighs> You'll never lose if you never try, son. But you'll never win either. Huh. That settles it. I'll be back in two shakes of a Kate's whisker, Pops. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Kid's face lit up like a miner's lantern. It's all over for us. Uh, they're gonna squeeze us until we're dry as the desert sand. Fellas, listen up. You wanted a job, and I got one for you. Let's send those leeches packing. You mean it? I've been holding back ever since they took our deed away from us. We've all suffered in silence. Now, well, I've finally understood. That dastard landowner, well, only thing on their mind is how to grow rich and fat off our toils. They don't care a whit about what happens to us or our town. That's why we gotta take it back, and our lives with it. I'm with you, boss. This is our town. We'll fight for it. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Now that that's settled, let's hustle on over to that Snake Gifts place. Yeah! yeah!